Tip FM's Tip Today with Fran Curry In association with Slattery's of Pecan, Tipperary's main Peugeot dealer. Slattery's Garage Pecan, the name you can trust for over 50 years in the Premier County. Slattery'sGarage.ie Lister says, what about mentioning uh, Schlieff Phelan's uh, winning the Junior C Camogie final, their first ever final win. Well, many congratulations there indeed. Another listener around to say, always great uh, match commentaries from Paul and his team. Well, that's that's for certain. And at the risk of blowing our own trumpet, I think it's as good as it gets, to be honest with you. Um, 1800 I spoke to teacher June Doherty at St. Cullum Kill School in Templemore last week as they had a walking bus to school on Friday morning to encourage more children to walk to school. Now, it was a fantastic success altogether by all accounts. And uh, Ali travelled to Templemore to walk to school with the kids on a cold and fresh Friday morning. Here's how it went. So today we are in St. Cullum Kills in Templemore and we are walking to school. Um, all the boys are going to meet us at the walking bus locations, our little zones, and they're going to walk to school. Uh, they have their high vis on, their jersey on, it's a beautiful day, and we are doing this as part of our Green Schools initiative for Walk to School Week 2024. Uh, where did this come from, teachers, from staff yourselves, or did it come from the pupils themselves? Was this something they wanted to get involved in? So yeah, I met the Green Schools Committee in the school last week and they really wanted to take part in Walk to School Week. Uh, so we met and we came up with a few ideas and they came up with the Fit Friday idea. So if everybody walks to school and wear their jersey, we'll raise a bit of awareness for, I suppose, taking care of the environment, um, reducing traffic, reducing emissions and the benefits of walking to school. Because we're told about it all the time, the benefits of walking to school. I mean, not just the physical benefits, which are obvious as well, but I think it, it, it's more of a social thing as well, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So it's lovely to see the boys coming to school all week. They've been engaging really well with the project so far. And even myself driving through the town, coming to work, I see the boys chatting and, you know, they'll be meeting boys they mightn't meet throughout the day because they might be in different classes. Yeah. and. It's lovely to see them walking and talking as well. It's really important there so for social development, um, just having the chats and meeting new people, meeting boys that they might get to meet and making new friends, a huge part of school life. Now, I know this is kind of a, a special day today, but is it something you'd be hoping to make a bit more regular? Oh, absolutely. Uh, so hopefully, maybe uh, next year, when the weather is a little bit better, we'll be doing more wow days, walk on Wednesdays. Uh, Green Schools Ireland really pushed for those and I know a good few schools around the country took part in WOW Day uh, this week. Um, Friday suited us the best uh, so that's why we chose Friday and the boys came up with the name Fish Friday and uh, yeah it's definitely something we'll, we'll do. The school has done it in the past and they've had walking buses in the past and it's always been a success and in fairness to parents they really get behind us and support us so it's great. In Aiden and James. James, would you normally walk to school? Uh, no, not really. But my mother drops me down the road there. Okay, and you walk down then? Uh, yeah, I normally walk to school. What is it like then to be part of Fit Friday and to have everyone walk into school? Is it something you'd like to see more of? Yeah. 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 And you're in charge of the the fruit stand today, are you? Yeah. What does that involve? Uh, just giving out all the fruit and all that. And that came from a local business as well, June. I mean, local businesses getting behind it as well, as well as parents, aren't they? Yeah. What business is it? Uh, Peter's Fruit and Veg. We'll have to give a shout out to them, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know who works for James? And my granddad. Your granddad? Does he? Yeah. Oh, so you had a bit of pull in there, so for a bit of fruit. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's your own name? Christine. Christine, what child have you involved in the walk today? I have two. I have Shane, who is in, I'm uh, going to say, second class. Yeah. <laughs> and Aidan, I think you met him down the road. That's right. Yeah, he's in fifth class. Would walking to school be the norm in your house? Uh, we live about maybe about five minutes outside town, so right. generally Not driving. an option, really. No, yeah. no, so that the road's too dangerous on the way in, so... Sometimes they want to be dropped at the at the end of the road and they want yeah. to walk in, but they really want yeah. to. It's great to, to have an initiative like this where they'll all meet as a group and walk down together. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. 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 Sure. Is it something you'd like to see a bit more regularly? I think it is, um, weather permitting and yeah. all the rest of it, because by the time they get into school, if they were drowned and wet, but sure, the they won't melt either. I know. <laughs>
<laughs> that's the hard, and you don't want them going in soaking. But then it's like mornings like today where it's kind of cold and frosty are perfect. Yeah, yeah, it is ideal. Yeah, no, I would like to see more, and they'd like to. Well, one of them would like to. The other one would prefer to stay in bed. Um, but yeah, I know Aidan would love to be able to walk in or cycling. Yeah. But sure, you can't on these roads. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. What's your yeah. name? Danny Fennell. Danny, are you very excited? Yes. Yeah. Do you walk to school regularly? Um, no, no. Some sometimes I park and stride. Oh. Yeah. What are you most excited about today? Oh, I'm most excited about Fifth Friday. Oh yeah. Today's Fifth Friday. And why is that so important? It's because in, on Fifth Friday you get to walk to school in this thing called a walking bus. Ooh. And um, you get all fit. It's good for exercise and like... Yeah. And you get to talk to all your friends on the way to school? Yeah. That's, that's cool. Right. Yeah. And Jersey Day today? Yeah, Jersey Day today. You're very I, busy. I have... Um, uh, he, he helps Josie on Black Castle. What's that? Oh, it's uh, it's the um, it's the soccer club of Temple Moor. Oh, do you play for them? Um, yeah, I play for the academy under nines. Good man. What position? Uh, mostly every position, but Good man. it's the centre attacking midfielder. Good man. How's the season going for you? Good. Yeah. They better watch out though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and Dara. Dara, what class are you in? I'm second. Second class. And are you excited about Fit Friday? Yeah. What are you most excited about? Um, it's good exercise and it's really fun walking to school. And with the gang as well. And you'll have the yeah. chats on the way. Isn't that yeah. nice? Would you normally walk to school? Um, yeah. Yeah. So you're used to it? Yeah. You have a bit of company today? Yeah. What jersey are you wearing? Um, Vinnie Junior. Vinnie Junior? What's that now, lads? I'm not good with soccer. Madrid. Oh, Madrid. Very good. Is soccer your sport? Yeah. yeah. What's your name? Christopher. Christopher. What class are you in? First. <gasps> First class. What jersey are you wearing today? Tip. Tip. Good man. Good man. Do you normally walk to school? Uh, I can't really. Yeah. Because um, I live in all, so I hardly have to drive to the school. But um, I was just parking down there beside Sprat. So, um... I was just coming up here. Oh, excellent. Do you like walking to school? Yeah. Would you prefer to walk to school than drive? Yeah. Yeah? What, what's your name? Charlie. Charlie, what class are you in? Fourth. Fourth class. Are you excited about Fit Friday? Uh, yeah. And the walking school bus? Yeah. Yeah. What's the most exciting thing about it? I uh, get to go with our friends and meet everybody. So we do. Would you normally walk to school? Uh, not really. Yeah. So it's nice for as an occasion to go, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And today's Jersey Day, of course, as well. What jersey are you wearing? Tipperary. On tip. Be safe, be seen! Going to be the back bus driver. Be no, be the front bus Okay, here we are at school. How did that go? Good. Did we enjoy the walk? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, June, we're back at the school. This is a lovely welcome, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Absolutely. Our lovely SNA, Anya, she's in charge of the music. She's the resident DJ for the day. <laughs> and uh, James O'Connor and some of the Green Schools Committee are in charge of the fruit stand. So they're handing out some lovely healthy snacks. I'd say some of them have worked up a hunger anyways on the way to school. It's great to see. Like, you can already see the boost in energy that they have from walking, can't you, straight away? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like, it's science, it's science you know. It's yeah. uh, proven exercise and fresh air releases chemicals called endorphins in your brain yeah. and it improves your mood. So there's a nice little buzz around. Good morning, hello. And um, yeah, I suppose like as a staff, they're all excellent to get behind it. Um, the SNA I work with, Andrina, she's over there taking a few photos. She's on photo duty. Um, she uh, came up with a little prize for the boys. Uh, We're going to give the class with the best engagement a golden boot. So she was out with this spray, this spray paint and the old shoes trying to get that going so we're going to get maybe some homework passes as well for um, a few of the boys and yeah. really just give them incentives to try and walk to school and keep it up yeah. and I know it's not easy for parents at fair play to them like everyone's here on time today it ran really really smoothly yeah. and the engagement has been great and the support has been really great yeah. like we had parent volunteers and staff volunteers it's just a lovely community here as well you know and Peter's donating yeah. fruit as well like they're brilliant it's so uh it's so positive and it's really uplifting to, yeah. to see that. You know, like, 
the kids that, you know, this might be something they'll remember. The big days where they wore their jersey or they chatted with their friend with the big high vis and had their little bit of fruit, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, that's what school's all about. And every single child in there, I think, has a smile. They're uh, happy out. So I just uh, have it's great that um, an initiative like that uh, has such an effect on the community and the kids. Connor Dial, principal here in St. Colum Kills Primary School. Connor, this is a fantastic initiative and as I was saying to Jude, I mean, you see the boost in kind of energy and in mood in the kids from walking, don't you? Absolutely. The, and a morning like this morning, nice, fresh, cold morning, some of the kids, you know, they be they might be up that long like ourselves, they're falling out of bed, they're wandering in, but you know what, a 10 minute walk or a 15 minute walk in a, on a morning like this morning, it wakes the mind up, it wakes the body up, it wakes them all up and they come into school in better form, they're energised, they're ready for work and to whatever the day might show at them. Yeah. Are you hoping to make it a regular thing? Well, looking at the success of this morning, I think it's a no-brainer. I yeah. think it's definitely something we're going to look at, at doing. Maybe you could start with one day a week, maybe, and, and take it from yeah. there because it's it's a huge success. And just to look around the yard here and see over 100 kids in their high vis vests and eating their fruit uh, as they come in there, you know, why not? Why not? Yeah. It's something to, something we should all be doing. We're a very busy school here, and our you know our green schools is a massive part of that and that's where the travel falls into it and to try and keep the boys healthy but that falls in under a lot of different facets then we're an active school as well so we have the active flag and that keep we're, we're so many different initiatives in sport and well-being and keeping fit and all the rest and even um here behind me we have our return recycling bin as well we're we're collecting the plastic bottles um and trying to take advantage of this initiative that came in this year um and at the same time use it as a fundraiser for the school here as well look the the, the kids here are absolutely fantastic no matter what initiative we start or what we suggest they just jump in behind it as well as the staff and as well as the community we're very very lucky with everybody in our St. Colum Kills community here that they're so supportive of everything we do Paul Clare Paul what class are you in? Six Six and you're part of the Green Committee are you? Yes I am So what does that involve then? Uh, how to help the environment So were you behind kind of organising today then and was it one of your ideas in the committee? Uh, yeah yeah. Kinda. Why do you like being part of the Green Committee? What do you enjoy about it? Part to skip out of work. <laughs> That's not the answer to Game Fall. <laughs> but other than this, then, what are you planning as part of the Green Committee? The walk into school, what else are you involved uh, with? Stop, like, don't let the cars park outside the schools. Like, help the environment, kind of. Like, don't know, like, driving. Yeah. Don't Does drive it give you a better walk. awareness, then, of the environment being part of it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 What's your name? I'm Zach Cullinan. Zach, what class are you in? I'm in sixth class. As well, and you're part of the committee as well? Yes. And what do you think, why should schools have green committees? Uh, because children should learn to care about the environment from a young age. And would you have a good uh, appreciation for the environment before you went on the committee, or has that kind uh, of strengthened it for you? Uh, yeah, I'd say I cared a lot about the environment before I got on, and just being on the green schools made me care about it more. Did you enjoy today? I did now. Good for the old head there. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Would be funny night. So soccer is your thing? I know hurling. 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 Are you, do you play hurling as well? I, I do. I play for JK Bracken. So. Go on. Go on to Bracken. Yeah. I say we wouldn't count the final next year. I, I actually rather have in uh, the happy hour. What's happy hour? Oh, when we do fun stuff for an hour, there's loads of different groups and all that. Oh. Like the STEM with Mr. Doyle. On Wednesdays. First. Yeah. Right. How are J.K. Brecken's doing this year? Uh, well... I know, we're, we're kind of yeah. finished now a little bit. Yeah, we you? are. We're not How did we get on? Did we do all right? Uh, Shocking compared to Lockmore. <laughs> <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Shocking compared to Lockmore. Are you a Lockmore man? Yep. Are you looking forward to this weekend? Yep. Yeah. Are you going? Yep. Good man. Will they win? Of course he will. No, 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 no. Two weeks no. hours on the road. Oh, 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 don't fall out, don't fall out. Sure, they're your neighbours. You're going to shout from anywhere, aren't you? No. Nah. What? No. Never. Uh, you have to shout it's from It's just because the teachers from Tommy are they're going to shout. Oh, really? Is that why you're being live to the teacher? Um, and oh, Lockmore's like, still going to hammer them. What class are you in, Callum? First. First class. And did you enjoy walking no. to school today? Yeah. Would it be a normal thing? Would you normally walk to school? <laughs> no. You get lots of era from walking to school and you there's do? less cars. So there's, so there's not, so roads become like a path. 
that's a good point because nobody said that to me. They liked having less cars on the road because it makes you feel safer than walking to school. And it's it? literally making the road like a park. Do you enjoy going to school? Yeah, you learn a lot of new things and you get you to do. be with your friends. It's nice, isn't it? I wish I was in school. After you get older, you just leave school because you're, you learn everything. Do you think? Yeah, I still have a lot to learn, though. No, like, you learn everything which you need to be much mature enough to leave. And then you just figure out easier stuff, which is not too, like, not the very, very mature stuff. Um, and a poor stuff. And that's our alley out and about for us at St. Colum Kill School in uh, Templemore. Don't you love the honesty? <laughs> of uh, young people. Was it Paul there? Ali asked him, you know, what, what's the best part about being part of the uh, uh, Green Committee? He said, skipping out of schoolwork. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. Well done to everybody involved in that fantastic school up there in uh, Templemore. Alyssa says, great idea walking to school. So good for fitness and well-being. I remember walking three miles to school and three miles back. I know there were different times, but I think schools should participate in this every month as one of our listeners. Now another listener saying, uh, Fran, could you ask the government politicians in Tipperary why the Irish taxpayer um, are paying for modular homes to be built in Ukraine and in Moldova, all the while um, paying for them here as well. Is there a war on or not? This is one of our listeners. Well certainly yeah, there's an investment there all right and I, I think it's I think it's 50 modular homes in Kiev uh, as part of what they describe as a stabilisation and humanitarian uh, support uh, for Ukraine. And I know there's some investment in satellite countries such as Moldova as well, but I don't have, a, I don't have the details of that uh, to hand. Uh, 083 311 3311. Tip FM's Tip Today with Fran Curry In association with Slattery's of Pecan, Tipperary's main Peugeot dealer. Slattery's Garage Pecan, the name you can trust for over 50 years in the Premier County. Slattery'sGarage.ie.